We started to push L around a bit. Now we're going to do justice. She weebles and she wobbles, but she never falls down. We're going to change that. Yep. Ghost attorneys. Yeah. Ghost judge. Too. Court is back in session for the trial of Sue Topley. Ask an hour later. Now that she has had her hours, hour to think, would the witness please, um, Mr. Gavin, where's the witness? I, ich weiß nicht. Ich weiß nicht. What? At the beginning of the recess, she left the prosecution lobby and said she would be right back. I thought she was going to use the restroom, but she still hasn't returned. She must have escaped and run away. Rabble, 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 ghost attorneys. And judge. Order, order, order. Well, this is certainly suspicious. Yo. This is really good for our case, Paul. <laughs> yeah, it. However, we cannot continue the trial without the witness. Therefore, I will extend the trial until tomorrow. I want the defense and prosecution to investigate the scenario Mr. Justice presented. Moreover, Mr. Gavin, I want a search party for Miss Ockrent formed immediately. Y yai Herr Judge. Yai. Yeah. Yai. Yai, Herr Judge. <laughs> <laughs> okay then, court is adjourned. You were wondering where I was, Your Honor? Sorry I'm late. Her body language is completely calm now. What happened in the last hour to make her change? Miss Ockrent, where were you? I was picking up these. And what exactly are those? Mr. Justice, do you remember exactly how we met last night? Yeah, I took some photos of you. Photos? Wait, don't tell me. I got these photos from last night developed. What photos your of yourself from last night? Got to get them selfies. <laughs> That's was the selfie. That's right. The place I got them developed is about a half hour away. I see. The court accepts these photographs into the court record. Else photos added to the court record. I didn't spend last night with anyone. But at ta various times throughout the night, I asked passers passes by to, to take a photo of me with my camera. Anyway, Mr. Justice, you said the murder took place at 8.30, right? I admit I don't have a photo of that exact time. But here's a photo of me at 8.24. And another one at 8.37, except it's not showing up. If you look at the background, you'll be able to tell these photos were taken near Main Street. And it takes about 15, and it takes about 15 minu minutes to go from Main Street to Mere Lake. Right. And that means it's impossible for me to have committed this crime. Gah! I was sure that Elle is the murderer, and I still am. So how? How does she have those photos? Well, you oh. Made um, wait. wait, what what's your theory? I want to hear it. Maybe she asked someone to get them for her. Wait, what? Mind? Well, you were suspicious, Miss Auckland. I suppose these photographs prove your innocence. The defense demands testimony on these photos. You're really still trying to pin this murder on me, Mr. Justice? Yes. It's That's right. you're wearing a red hat. Yes, the red hat and chocolate syrup explain all. Yes. I explain that if... I believe the defense does have a right to cross-examine the witness about these photos. Miss Auckland, if you could please give a testimony. Fine. It's not like you're gonna be able to find anything, Mr. Justice. Picture perfect alibi. Presto testimony. 
first off, I want to make clear that I could not and did not tamper with these photographs. The camera was disposable and someone else availed the film, so it's impossible. Anyway, to be honest, I suppose there are actually three ways you could counter my photos. First, you could prove that the murder didn't actually occur at 8.30 last night. Second, you could prove that the murder didn't actually occur at Mere Lake. Or third, you could show that these photos weren't actually taken in locations near Main Street. However, if you can't do any of those, you must accept these photographs along with my innocence. I'm still in shock. Holly, you need to keep your cool and crack that crack this testimony. And this testimony is one of the most devilish on the AAO. Like ever. <laughs> like this took me for If you can't win, it well if you can't, fail in L's cross examination. Oh, they'll end L's cross-examination, and then our case is over. Literally. Like, I couldn't solve this one on my own. Mr. Justice, you may begin your cross- Wait a second! What is it, Your Honor? There's a massive contradiction in these photos! What?! Did the judge really find something? It wasn't really the judge who figured this out. <laughs> <laughs> in these photographs, how could the camera be in the picture? Photos weren't taken with this camera, Your Honor. Oh, never mind then. Anyway, you may start the cross examination, Mr. Justice. Well, you know, that, that would have made sense. <laughs> <laughs> like, like he, he was onto something there. Okay. Press! Interesting how you're so quick to say you didn't forge the photographs. If I didn't preemptively deny it, I'm sure you would be questioning the authenticity of these photos. Actually, she's probably right. Please tell us why exactly you could not have tampered with the photos. Camera was disposable, yada yada. Can you please explain exactly how this makes it impossible for the photos to have been altered? Because someone else developed a film, Obviously, I couldn't have done anything to them while they were being developed. If I was going to mess with the pictures, it would have to be the before the film was developed. But it was a disposable camera, which means once it's open, I can't close it back up. Yes, I believe it's safe to say that the film was not tampered with. Oh, and Mr. Justice, before you claim I did something to these specific prints, I can give you the address of the Photoshop. You can check the negatives yourself. Darn it. It looks like there really is no way to argue that she tampered with the photographs. Hold on. One second. I'm just going to check these photos. <laughs> oh, she did blink. What? <laughs> But the important one is here. Be honest. Admitting it. So you're admitting that I can discredit these photos. I'm saying that if you were to prove some very specific things, then the photos would no longer give me an alibi. But I highly doubt you'll be able to prove any of them. Well, what are they? Uh, couldn't. And what exactly would this change? Come on, Polly, it's simple. Oh, shoot. Oh, I, whatever. Oh, whatever. Your assistant seems to be smarter than you, Mr. Justice. Oh, 
Ooh. Shut down. Of course, you were the one who proved, who worked so hard to prove the murder happened to Octo Noinsen. What? Noinsen? What? No. <laughs> Noinsen? What? Oh, wait, hold on. Actually, was that right? No. Come on. German. German. No. Wow. That I just failed there. I just really failed there. I just said 98. Wow. <laughs> Not even right, What's the next way? Didn't actually occur at Rear Lake. And how exactly would that change the situation? If the murder took place somewhere in town, then there would be enough time to commit the murder between 824 and 837 photos, yeah? I see. Come on, Mr. Justice, that was obvious. But there's no chocolate syrup anywhere, so... <laughs> <laughs> well, third... Actually taken in Main Street. What exactly would that imply? Even I can se see the implications, Mr. Justice. If the photos were taken somewhere close to the crime scene, then she would have had more time to commit the murder, and the alibi wouldn't work. Oh, yeah. I recognize the backgrounds as places near Main Street. Maybe if you can't do any of those, you must accept the photographs. I don't really have anything to say. After all, you're kind of right. Then why, Gene, interrupt me? Please don't waste our time. Although there was one thing I was wondering. It's 15 minutes from Main Street to Mere Lake. But isn't that walking? If Elle drove or something, couldn't she still commit the murder? Bare forehead, you should think more about your. You should think your, through your series more thoroughly. Huh? <laughs> Nailed it. After all, there are two problems. First off, Main Street was blocked off from cars last night for the New Year's festival. Second, Mere Lake is in the middle of a park that is relatively large. Even if the witness did have a car, she'd have to walk from Main Street to the car and walk from the entrance to the park to Mere Lake. Even with a car, it would, it would probably be difficult to get from Main Street to Mere Lake in 10 minutes. <laughs> Helicopter! Who has any more? Oh, and committing the murder does not include firing a gun, but also setting up the crime scene to frame the defendant, which would, take, which would also take a few minutes. Okay, so maybe even having a car wouldn't change anything. Helicopter. I'm glad. I'm glad you agree, Hair Forehead. Well, if that angle didn't work, you just need you just need approach this problem from a different English. <laughs> <laughs> Gah! She's guilty. How in the world does she have those photos? It's so peculiar. It's impossible. Hopeless with those photos. However, she got them. She has a perfect alibi. Impossible? I have to disagree with you there, Polly. In fact, there are three paths that can lead to victory, and they're all there in her testimony. You just need to find out which path is the right one and walk down it. Like a bar. Actually, I've been examining this testimony for a while. Maybe I am overthinking this. Do we keep going or do we stop? Do we stop? I... I... I can't believe I'm saying this, but... I can't find anything wrong with the photos or the testimony. What are you doing? If you say that, we automatically lose! I know, but I can't find anything! None of the ways Elle's me Elle mentioned work! That note to Brussels in the pool and the chocolate syrup proved the murder happened at, well, at 8.30. The, they also proved the murder occurred at Mere Lake. And I can tell from the backgrounds that all of these photos were taken in places near Main Street. There's just no way to do it. I don't know how she got those photos, but they prove her alibi. But if but if she's guilty, then those photos have to be fake. But we also know that she couldn't have faked them. We know they're genuine. There, there has 
has to be something. Of course you can't find anything wrong with these photos, because there is nothing wrong with them. I, Trucy's right, even if these photos are true and, and I can't prove any of else possibilities, there has to be something here. Well, if the defense accept these photographs, then the court will accept them too. Therefore, Miss Ockrent has the alibi, has an alibi for the moment of the murder, thus proving her innocence. God, it's no use. It's no use! And as such, there is no reason to continue this cross-examination. And the defense will be forced to rest its case with, with both people it accused proven innocent. Yes, that is correct. Wait, is that? Now then, I hereby end the cross-examination of L. Ockrent. Don't end the cross-examination yet. I found the contradiction in the photographs. Really? Hold on, Mr. Justice. You just said there weren't any problem. There weren't any contradictions in my testimony. That's because there aren't. But if you accept her testimony, you must also accept her photos. Not quite, Mr. Gavin. It just so happens that none of her hints were the real problem. L, you left a fatal contradiction in your photos that reveals exactly what you did. Hm. How about you point out this alleged contradiction already? It sounds to me like you're bluffing. Can't do the voice much longer. Yes, you made us go through that whole examination of her previous testimony. You better be able to back up your claims. Don't worry, I can. Pick the contradictory photo and point out the contradiction. I am going to save right here because the spot is kind of finicky. I mean, it's kind of finicky. What do you mean it's kind of finicky? I don't understand. I mean, sometimes it doesn't really work. While the loading screen is going, let's point out the contradiction. Come on, let's go. It's loading. It always stopped at 76. It does always stop at 76. Jeez. I can't point out the contradiction like this. Gosh. I know, right? You're so professional. Jeez. Oh. Okay, here we go. Let's point out the contradiction. This one. The contradictory photo is... This one. Do you see the contradiction? The fountain? Look closely. Real closely. I don't... Remember? She said she was engaged. She has a tan line around her ring finger. I can't see that from here. Contradiction. Yada yada. Point out tan line. The witness's hand? Yes. If you look closely, it contains the fatal contradiction. I don't see anything. Actually, if you look the, at the witness's hand right now, you might notice something odd. L, please lift up your hand for the court. Is this good enough for you? Hmm. I don't see anything unusual about the witness's hand. But isn't that the strange thing, Your Honor? Let me see that photograph again. Dot 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 exclamation point! The photograph is blurry, so it's a bit hard to tell, but I think on her ring finger the witness has a tan line from a ring. But she doesn't have one now. How can this be? It's simple, Your Honor. 
the tan lines faded as tan lines often do. But tan lines can't fade over the course of a day. They were taken last year! Yes, and that's exactly that. what exposes the great trick in these photographs. The fact that L has a tan line in the photo, but not right now, can only mean one thing. See, I was thinking about that, but then I thought, like, the picture showed the date. Most of these photos of L were not taken last night. It does show the date, but it doesn't show the year. Yeah, like, I thought it showed the year. That's impossible, Hair Forehead. After all, these, the photos have a timestamp. <laughs> I know that they do, but you need to check them a bit closer, Mr. Gavin. <laughs> if you look at the timestamp, you can clearly see... Dot dot dot, German exclamation point! That's right! The timestamp has a date and a time, but it doesn't mark the year. This photograph was taken on December 31st, 2025! This murder has been in the works for a whole year. One year ago, on New Year's Eve, you partially filled up a roll of photos of yourself, Al. Last night, you murdered Spark Brushel and got Trucy and, and got me and Trucy to finish the roll. Finally, you got this film developed. The photos seem to all have been taken yesterday due to the timestamps. And that's how you created your alibi for the murder of Spark Brushel. <laughs> so, so what? I, I don't have an alibi for the murder. That's all that means. You still only have circumstantial evidence. That's true. Time for the final blow. But there's only one thing I'd like to ask you. We're going to say it in unison. We're going to do it. Are we? No. Would you really have gone to such lengths to forge an alibi if you were innocent? L breakdown! I think she blinked. It doesn't look like she's blinking. It's just her camera going off. Oh. I think she held that for a good 20 seconds. Gwah. <laughs> <laughs> I confess, Mr. Justice has been right. I did it. I killed him. Well, this certainly has been a long and interesting case. But we finally reached the truth. You did it, Polly! Mr. Gavin, where is Miss Auckland right now? In the prosecution ro lobby, awaiting arrest, Herr Judge. I see. Anyway, I'm sure it will be no surprise to anyone that the jury has unanimously voted. I will hand down their verdict now. This court finds the defendant, Sue Toppling, not guilty! <laughs> that is all. Court is adjourned. Where, where's the confetti? I know, right? Jeez, oh. there's no confetti. No confetti? Gone. Oh, there's more! Yep. Congratulations, Sue. I told you you were in good hands. Of course, we were on the verge of losing almost the entire time. Thanks, Trucy. And thank you, Mr. Justice, so much for taking my case and fighting so hard for me. No problem. It's my job, after all. I know. I'll take a picture to celebrate. Thanks, but after what just happened, I think I've had my fill of photos for the year. What? For the entire year? No. For 365.25 days? Leap years. He knows math. Sue! <laughs> Hello! I'm so sorry for testifying against you. I didn't want to, I swear it. Please forgive me, I'm begging you. actually 
actually see me shoot Brushel's body, and it did look like I had murdered him. How can I be mad at you for telling the truth? Plus, your testimony is what let us is what let us bring Gilligan to the stand. And come up with the I with the idea the murder happened earlier. Sue, thanks so much. I found this lovely little convenience store down the street. Perhaps we could go rob it together, my dear. Kitsune, I'm standing right here. Oh boy, ready for the final Kitsune rant? Let's do it. Mr. Justice, I know I offered to let you come rob a store with her during the trial, but Sue was just acquitted, so I would like to spend some time with her to celebrate. I find it very rude that you would try to intrude on us. Unless, of course, you thought that by my dear I was referring to you in which... <laughs> Forget it. I doubt he'll ever understand. Actually, maybe we could just go out to eat at a nice restaurant. Oh, I can eat, I swear. I heard about this Russian restaurant downtown. It's supposed to have great Russian... Oh, borscht. <laughs> Good. <laughs> of course, whatever you want. Just make sure you get a table as far away from the piano as possible. to be leaving now. Once again, thank you so much, Trucy and Apollo. I love how it's Trucy first. Well, ladies first, I guess. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Well, they're kind of weird, but I think they make a good couple. Yeah, so do I. Trucy matchmaking 101. <laughs> anyway, I'm beat. I want to go home and sleep until next New Year's. Not so fast, Polly. I need to learn all of those new tricks I inherited. And since you have the best eyes, I know. I need you... I need to do them until even you can't, can't see the trick. Huh? You're going to be my test audience. I'm going to practice over and over until they're perfect. Is there something you want to say, Polly? Yeah, there is one thing. Say it and you're fired, Polly. Wait, what? Trucy, you can't do that. Sure I can. I am the manager of... of right anything agency, after all. That's not fair. Think of it as getting to watch a ton of free shows before anyone else. I guess the first times I see the tricks, it'll be neat. That's the spirit. All right, Polly, let's go home. To new tricks and to a new year. And to a new adventure. Oldie! <laughs> <laughs> Don't leave the courthouse yet, Mr. Justice. What the? Hi. <laughs> Oh, um, hi. Please relax, Mr. Justice. I'm not here to hurt you or yell at you or anything. Huh? I want to I want to tell you the truth about this case. Or did you not notice the contradiction in your explanation? There was a contradiction? Didn't you kill Brussel? Yes, I did, and your explanation of how I made those photos was also correct. You said I started planning the murder a year ago when I started taking those pictures. But that contradicted something you said earlier. You know what I'm talking about? I think I do. Contradicted. Oh, jeez, what was it? Um... Ace Attorney Badge. It was the cell phone, right? I'm glad you understand. You said I started planning the murder a year ago with those photos. But before the recess, you claimed I killed Brussels because of the phone call he made last night. Yeah, those photos implied you started planning the murder a while ago. But your motive only appeared last night. So what's the truth behind all of this? I was having a, an affair with Gilligan. New Year's Eve was one of the times I got to see him under the pretense of a business meeting. He told... 
he took those photos of me so next year I could prove to him I wasn't doing anything wrong. How innocent that reason seems now after what I just used him for. <laughs> when Gilligan heard Brushel's call to you, he decided that Brushel had to be killed. Our plan was to, for me to frame Sue to Kitsune and the, the way you deduced in court. And he, then he would defend whoever was framed and purposely lose. And if they would hire him, or someone decided to do an investigation on their own, my photos would perfect, protect me from being convicted. I would never have guessed that someone would have been able to bypass both those safeguards. But that's exactly why I need to talk to you, Mr. Justice. What? It's about the organization mentioned in that file. The Black Planet Organization. They're the ones really behind everything. The Spock, the group Spock was really investigating. So you and Gilligan work for this group. Yes. Of course, now that I've been found guilty of murder, it's not like they'll have any use for me. At least I have you to thank for that. Anyway, Spock brought off our engagement because he has suspected I was associated with them. And when he read that letter, I'm sure he knew that I was talking about myself in Black Planet. Ten years ago, I took a photo I shouldn't have. Don't think about that too hard. <laughs> <laughs> Black Planet wouldn't let that photo couldn't let that photo get out. So something. So they found something. So they said I would have to do something for them. Then they would give me back my film and leave me alone. They had you kill someone? No, this was the first time. This was the first time I had to commit a deed that atrocious. This still wasn't something I was proud of. Anyway, I was a naive fool. They had burned the film the moment they'd gotten their hands on it. They then took a picture of the deed they made me commit and blackmailing me saints. And since then, I've just been their slave. I had no idea. That That's horrible. You're telling me. Now I think I can tell you about what I've been trying to get out this entire time. Apollo, your courage, your passion, your heart. You're exactly like I was ten years ago. That's why I know. Once you've seen the name Black Planet Organization in that file. And heard this, this story from me now, you'll pursue this. Don't! Don't fight them, don't investigate them, you probably shouldn't even say their name. Because of this case, you're definitely gonna show up on their radar now. But if you don't do anything relevant to them for a while, I'm sure they'll lose interest in you. I see. Well, I don't think I can delay my trip to the detention center any longer. If I'm going to prison, at least I'm going to prison not their pawn anymore. Goodbye, Mr. Justice. Hello, Big Bubba. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Big Bubba. The Black Planet Organization. What could they have done to make a woman prefer to go to prison as a murderer than continue to work for them? I think I know. I'll admit it. I was curious. Don't think about it too hard. I could tell that Elle had meant every word she had said to me. I understood perfectly. The Black or the Black Planet Organization was not a group to be reckoned with. And yet, despite Elle's warning, eventually Black Planet became more involved in my life than I had ever intended or imagined. Cliffhanger ending! Da -da -da -da. And that ends New Year's turnabout! At about five in the morning. Yeah, pretty much. Ping apostrophe and bad player. Ping apostrophe and bad player. You guys rock. Go uh, on, countdown, please. Beach Legelstein Housing Bedorf. Ballad of a Carefree Attorney. That. Missing Black Planet. 
Thank you for playing. Thank you for watching. This has been the Ash Raichu. And his sister. And it's five in the morning. We should sleep. But I have to get up in 30 minutes. So, yeah. Bye. Too late. Bye.